Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to have you here with me. Well, hello. It's uh, almost the end of June, and here we are being present. I used the gong today, and I thought, what a beautiful way to start by coming through and saying hello. Well, hello, Adrian. Hello to all of you. Uh, so good to have you here with me. Today, we're going to be discussing about fears, fears and phobia. Is it real? Is it imagined? I had a client just about um, two days ago who came in here with interpretation and uh, uh, with panic and anxiety, going through all that and having a fear of uh, driving. So it's not that she had a fear of driving, it's just that a few months ago she got into an accident and since then she's had this phobic reaction in getting a car and getting back onto the freeway. So by doing that, I, I am here to share the same format as I work with my clients. So if there is any chance that you may be experiencing or someone you know is experiencing fears or a kind of a panic and uh, phobic reaction towards getting into the car, driving, or fear of flying, fear of anything that is moving forward in life, by all means, I'm here to help. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Lisa Bubari, and I am a clinical hypnotherapist and a certified stress management and anxiety attack. Also, I just got my certification in anger management. So, you know, um, for those who are in traffic and they have this aggressiveness and uh, they can't manage their anger with people cutting in front of them, by all means, I can help you as well. Today, we're going to be discussing about fears and phobias. So we have all felt it at one point or another. Fears. Fears that it churns your stomach that when you think about doing something before you even do it, even the thought process can be uh, debilitating. It can hold you back. It can stress you and create this. What happens is from the thought process, it hits our body. So what does our body do? In a way, not only that churning of stomach, some people experiencing it by their fingers and the palm of their hand getting sweaty, their body getting sweaty, and this entire physical reaction starts. Heart starts pumping, uh, there's this uh, heavy breathing that happens, and when all that starts becoming a little bit more than normal, then the thought process is something is happening to me. I'm having a heart attack. I am uh, going out of control. And then the negative thoughts keep coming. So in a way that heart racing, the palms sweating, and just the thought of getting in a car can be stressor. So in a way, what happens in here is this internal dialogue that creates the stress factor. And in by creating this, the physical body is now responding to the thought. And then the emotions of, I am having a heart attack. I can't do this. What if I get into the car and then whatever it is that we create happens. What if I uh, can't drive? What if, what if, what if? Do you get it? So by creating all this negative thought pattern, what happens is this a, 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 a vicious cycle starts with a thought to physical body and then the physical body and then the emotions connecting to that, it becomes a uh, it's just one of those fears that humans experience at all times. Uh, 
And some people experience the same thing when they want to do a public speaking, when they go up on stage, when they want to take a test. So anything that creates this expectation of us that we have experienced a bad feeling, bad grade, feeling of judgment, and puts the pressure upon us is what I call self-created uh, cycle. It's an abusive cycle that we put ourselves in. So what, what if I were to say or ask you, is it real or is it imagined? So the physical reactions of what happens to us physically is very much real. The emotions are self-created. But when we think about it, like my client, let's call her Janet. Janet avoids going to the dentist. And she becomes apprehensive because she calls it the fears of needle. That if she goes to the dentist, and she knows that when he checks, there might be a cavity because she's already feeling the pain in one of her teeth, in one of her tooth. And because of that, she knows that he's going to insert a needle to gum the, uh, numb the gums, gum the numbs, numb the gums. That's the dyslexic in me. And by doing so, the fear of the needle going in there automatically creates this apprehension of, no, I am not going to go to the dentist because of what the consequences are. So by the time she's even thinking about it, the fear of the needle, which is not real at that moment, which another person, the fear of going onto the freeway, it's not real. But because we create this in our own imagination and our subconscious mind can create this and make it so real as if that is, it's happening at that very moment, even though it's not, I want to share that the power of your subconscious mind is so vivid, it's so real, it's so clear that you believe it's happening at that very moment. And that is where I teach my clients to push that frontal cortex stop or the brakes in order for them to say, is this real or is this imagined? So before they go into that panic and anxiety is where through hypnosis and hypnotherapy, I teach my clients self-hypnosis in order for them to put this frontal cortex breaks and say, I can handle this. I can control this. So I give the tools and techniques for my clients in order to before they go to that level of the panic, they can go into self-control, focus, clarity, calmness, and relax. So in a way, that is what we are doing. Hello, Anahid. Hello, Helen. We are talking about fears and phobias. So learning to control our fears. And believe it or not, I also say that fear in itself is a learned behavior. It's not instinctive because instinctively what we do is fight or flight in case of emergency. So when something has happened and occurred, let me give you another example. When a child becomes afraid of a dog and something has occurred, either a dog has barked or something, it's most probably because the parent has been afraid. And when they see a child come near or a dog come near their child, automatically they pull the child away and they either squirm or make a sound and they say, get away. By doing this, they also teach the child in a way to be afraid of the dog. So, 
fear in a way is also a learned behavior. When it comes to panic and anxiety is an internal process that either a dog has barked or a when at a dentist they've had a, a bad reaction and it's hurt or this because fear of needle a needle has absolutely no consequences unless you have felt something that you felt pain for someone who's been around hypnosis and hypnotherapy what we do is a bypass let me explain let me backtrack and say your mind has two three parts actually it's the amalgula um, in the back and then the um, hypoglominate and then the frontal cort the cortex the frontal cortex so in a way you have your conscious mind and your subconscious mind and in between the conscious and the subconscious mind is this critical factor that analyzes and judges and reasons and criticizes. So if we bypass that and drop into that subconscious mind where all information is stored, right, and all habits and behavior is stored, we can delve into that. So that's why we, with guided visualization, when something is not real, that means the fear factor is not real. You can control and let your subconscious mind know, I am in control. And what was is no longer controlling this moment. So giving the information of, I can handle pain. I overcome pain. So in a way, the nervous system, knowing that you can control at that very moment, goes into that um, part of, okay, I don't have to respond. I don't have to kick back and uh, safeguard this person because they are in control. Believe it or not, our subconscious mind is always, always there to protect us not to harm us. So in a way, our body is doing this, that fight or flight, when it goes into that flight mode is like run away from something that it's happening and it's going to hurt me. Whereas we go into that fight mode of getting back at it and I can handle this and we go into that fight, but there's also the, another part which is called the freeze point. When we freeze and do not know what to do or how to react. So in an auto accident, when there is a fear of flying or a fear of driving, the, the, re, the main thing is where is this stemming from? When did you get hurt? When was the trigger? And by tapping into your subconscious mind is to overcome the trigger factor. First is to evoke what was, when was the trigger, and then embracing what is the reality where you are, that you are safe, either sitting in the car, sitting in the dentist chair, or sitting in the plane, and then truly opening that pattern and just putting everything in compartment in compartments and as you breathe through it knowing that you are safe you are safe by sitting in the car you are safe in the car you are safe driving one block you are safe now or i am safe i am safe driving around the block i can handle this i am in total control and then knowing the triggers, we say, I am safe now. This is not happening. My body is safe. I can handle this. And then the next trigger, I am safe driving one block, two blocks. I am safe driving around 
within my one mile radius. I am safe in the car. I know how to drive. My body functions perfectly. So those are affirmations that we do, not only cognitive therapy, while the client and I are talking about it to reaffirm. And then I take my client into a beautiful, peaceful state of relaxation. And by doing so, drifting into a hypnosis is dropping from this analyzing, criticizing, judging part of their mind, the conscious level, to a beautiful state where you can visualize the entire thing, drop into your subconscious, and reprogram what was the trigger and bypass the trigger. It could be needle, it could be a car, it could be a plane or a train, or it could be someone or even an animal. And then knowing that you are in total control and you can handle it. So in a way, you take full control of the wheel of the car and remembering how you used to drive easily and effortlessly. And you can still sit in the car, drive, and move forward in life easily and effortlessly. Now, that can happen in one, hello, Sedajan. It can happen in few sessions. It can also happen that I want you to know fear is false emotions appearing real. At that very moment, there is nothing blocking you. There is nothing holding you back. There is no one strapping you so you cannot move. But at the point of the trigger, it could be an accident, it could be a sound, it could be a shocking thing that happened to the body, or a sound that shocked and traumatized the body. And those are four people that I can say it's PTSD is very real for veterans, for people who have not only been a soldier or fought in a war, but those who have been in situations when they heard planes above their head, when they heard uh, a gunfire when they heard any kind of a bombing or even the sound of a shaking of the ground of earthquake so you see so so many people are not necessarily afraid of the earthquake but that movement the shaking and the fear of what will happen in case of if i am not in a safe place what if that fear that creates it's not so much the earth quick but the fear the core fear of if i am hurt what about for those who have children the fear of what's going to happen if i am not with my children what's going to happen if happen if they are not with me or my parents my family my my dog my pets any any of that so that fear factor is not real because earthquake is not happening at this very moment right and i am moving on purpose but everything is created by a fear in case not in case but perhaps something long time ago happened and they were not prepared and that's where the trigger came so Fear is false emotions appearing real. When through hypnosis, you revalidate every nerve, every muscle, every organ, every tissue by reinforcing safety, by reaffirming that you are in control of your mind, of your body, and of your emotions that you are prepared to react and act accordingly. So instead of a 
pulse re, uh, pulse uh, oh my god it's it's like instead of just a reaction you are equipped and trained knowingly to be in total control and that comes all from training that you can overcome it and be more focused in control to act accordingly here's another uh here's another example if by any chance two days ago did you watch the brother and sister that did this wire walk all across uh new york in the middle of the night in manhattan they did this fire walk i mean not fire walk the wire walk thousands of feet above in between the buildings in manhattan when all the advertising of the lights are going there was over um i think twenty thousand spectators below and what they did is walk from one side to the other side only one pole and a wire yes they were connected but still there are thousands of feet above ground the wind factor everything so is their fear connected yes trepidation yes but they were in full control of their body full control of their mind and of their emotions training 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 it takes pure focus and they even mentioned it it took years of training six years of training to do this and two years before that she had already the sister had already had a fall and broken bones and ankle and everything but then it's the intention the intention was we are going to do this and we are going to conquer my fear i will conquer my fear because this is what i am trained to do and by doing so it took them two years not only to get to that level they had to book it years ago and everything was in place the wind factor was in place how many people are going to be there what is the exact timing that they're going to go up so all that is like pure focused focus 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 guided visualization self-hypnosis training it was embedded of course they are they started years as a child but they started walking on the ground and then 10 feet up and then 100 feet up and then all the way up so it's when this training happens it it becomes a part of your body it becomes automatic so we don't even think about it it's like driving a car you sit in the car without thinking after years of driving a a car you don't think about your muscle connection of your hand where your hand is going when you break when you see a stop sign you automatically break you don't break your you see the sign automatically it sends the information to your brain you already know i break at a stop sign and your body automatically does and the car stops so it happens in seconds and for people who are racing, for people like in Cirque du Soleil, for people who are in the military, it's a millisecond, right? For people who are uh, like in the Olympics, everything is trained, retrained, trained, retrained so that's exactly what happens and when there is a fall when there is a trigger it only shatters that very essence of that very moment an accident is like coming to an accident but what i say is when something like that happens it's not happening to you but it's happening for you it happens for us it puts us in a break in a stop mode for us to reassess or perhaps what what was this accident for what did i do was i mindful 
of where I was going. Maybe I need to focus of what's happening. Maybe I was thinking about something else and it's taking responsibility of saying why and what was my part in this, right? So in a way, everything that happens and happens for us is for us to sit back give me time or take time out to heal the body to regroup heal the emotions or maybe you were overwhelmed and there is so much happening that you were not concentrating and by not concentrating this is the consequences because in life there are consequences for everything if i don't eat i'm depleting my body from energy if i don't eat healthy i am going to gain weight by gaining weight i will also you see here is the cycle and the same thing happens when there is a fear factor and then when we are not in full control of our mind emotion and our body we go into that panic mode so today i want let me bring my book and say, by the way, yes, I have a book. It's in my Heal Thy, uh, Heal Thy Mind Body. See, I'm even sharing what's in my book. And uh, there is learning to be afraid. So phobias are irrational. And it's in my book, which means people be afraid, even though the fear doesn't make sense to them. So if you want techniques of how to overcome your fears or unlearning fears by all means you can go to my website go to the shop area and you can purchase this book i think it's about 12 dollars. and there is not only information about fears and phobias and i break it down but also tools and techniques of how you can overcome it you can even get one of my cds for stress no more or relax and unwind and listen to the recording at night or even when you want to take half an hour and regroup because not only the sound of my voice can guide you into that state of deep relaxation right but also the information if it is not for you perhaps you know someone who may need to stress no more or to regroup and feel confident even sleep better but whatever it is those cds each and every suggestion in my recordings is specifically designed to help you overcome fears stress anxi anxiety and if there need be to do more and deeper and delve deeper into what was the core cause of that or you cannot handle it on your own by all means give me a call you can schedule a free consultation with me come into my office or believe it or not i do skype sessions i do skype sessions all the time with uh, i've been doing it with chicago malaysia you know it, it doesn't matter I am there to help you. So, do you have a fear or you go into this panic mode without realizing what's happening? Give me a call. Just yesterday I got a call and I'm saying Chicago because I did a session with someone in Chicago and then they referred me to someone who called me and said I would like to uh, have my parents come to you and I heard you speak Armenian. By all means, and yes, I can do the sessions in Armenian and in Farsi. So it, it, it's, if it was a language barrier, if it is a, you cannot come in here because I'm too far from you, it doesn't matter. Give me a call let's explore possibilities let me be there there is no reason for you to have a fear of driving and not moving forward in life or holding yourself back and not enjoying taking a trip and traveling somewhere either by car train or plane so you can overcome 
any obstacle. Because what are obstacles? Created by us, for us, to hold us back for a reason. So if you've been watching me right here live, by all means, give me an emoji, say live, I'm here. Or if, you are a rep uh, if you're watching this on a replay, just hashtag replay so that if there is any questions, if there is any comments, I will be more than happy to respond. Thank you, Michael. Thank you for being one of my biggest cheerleaders. And I truly believe in the work of uh, hypnosis and hypnotherapy and helping my clients overcome any obstacles, fears, or stressors. And the rest, you already know. I hope today's message and session was beneficial to you. Give me a call. Get the book, healwithin.com. It's H. Oh, I'll put all the links and everything there. And you can also watch this or send this information to anyone else. It will be on YouTube. And there's so much more coming to you starting July. Look forward to seeing you next week. And until then, God bless you. And may the universal life be with you. Bye-bye.